Hi everyone, thank you for watching Crafts with Ash. Today we're gonna make a really cute pumpkin sign using Dollar Tree items. First you'll need that stand up sign that says welcome friends. There are a few of them. Next you'll need this football sign. We're gonna use the pumpkins from it. Next you're gonna need a variety of different scrapbook paper. I got mine from Hobby Lobby. They were 25 cents each and I picked out three colors that I thought would go well together. Then you're gonna need a package of these color your own pumpkin cutouts. First, you're gonna go ahead and remove the base off of that pumpkin. Then you can go ahead and take off the raffia bow from the top and put it aside. We will be using that later. And then you can also pop off that sunflower and put it to the side for different crafts. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick out a piece of scrapbook paper and we are going to Mod Podge our scrap of paper on each of our pumpkins. So first, you're going to trace your pumpkin. Then you're going to cut your pumpkin out. And next, we're going to Mod Podge our scrapbook paper onto the pumpkin. I got my big jar of Mod Podge from Hobby Lobby, but you can get them at the Dollar Tree Little Squirt Bottles. I'm just a big crafter, so I went with the big one. You wanna put a nice thin layer on your pumpkin. Make sure to get all parts of the surface because you don't want any of the paper to come up, come up off of the pumpkin. Go ahead and line it up. And then once you have it lined up, push it down really well so it doesn't, it, the edges don't come up. Then you're gonna take a piece or a sanding block and you're going to sand the edges. And this helps get any of the scrapbook paper that overhangs and the excess off. Next, you're gonna go ahead and grab your football and pumpkin sign. You're gonna take a pumpkin off of that and repeat. So you're gonna trace, cut it out, and then use Mod Podge to go ahead and put your scrapbook piece of paper on there as well. Just like that. Then you're gonna go ahead and take one of those pumpkins out of that package of color, color your own pumpkins and you're going to Mod Podge on there as well. Line it up, it's perfect. Now I like the antique look, so I took some Waverly antique wax and I um, was going to start doing the, putting some paint around the edges, but then I noticed that I forgot to sand that one, so I went ahead and sanded it and got any excess off, and then you can see how I am taking my brush and dipping it into the lid that has the paint, dabbing it on my paper towel, and then putting a light, light coat of the Waverly Antique Wax on the edges, paying attention to the edges, but also in the middle. After that, it's time to line up our pumpkins. So I put the biggest one down, then the middle size, then the small size. I'm gonna take my little raffia bow that we took off of that pumpkin from earlier and hot glue it to the top. Next, I'm gonna hot glue all of my pumpkins together. And then I'm gonna put some hot glue on the base and hot glue that pumpkin down. Next, I'm gonna take some raffia. I did wanna cover this base. So I took some raffia and I hot glued it to the bottom. I did double it so it did look like more. I had some um, left over on the base so I went ahead and brought it to the back. Then I used one of these styrofoam pumpkins. I, I'm sorry I lost the footage of the package it came in but you're gonna see the orange ones real soon and it came in a package just like that. There you go. Then I took an orange one, took it off the pick and hot glued that on there. Next, I took two packages of the letters, you do need two, and I spelled out the word fall. And now we're gonna go ahead and stain these. So first, you're gonna take some water and spray some water onto the wooden letters. Then you're going to take a paper towel, dip it into your antique wax, and go ahead and rub it on there. You can do it as dark or as light as you would like. And this makes for a stain. Then I went ahead and sanded the edges because I wanted the natural wood to come through on the edges and also I wanted it to pop more from that scrapbooking paper. Mm -hmm. 
After that, I went ahead and arranged all my letters and hot glued them down. Made sure that they were all lined up. And now we have this super cute pumpkin stand up sign. I use basically everything from the Dollar Tree. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and follow my Crafts with Ash, Ash page. And I will see you soon.